Ready and walk with me. All right, and here we go. Trigger warning, spoiler alert. I found the cast of High School the Musical. You are experiencing a post-Rachel Ray Show edition of the Tom Kelly Show. I have no idea if you people are going to be able to hear me because I'm out on, what is this, 26th Street uh, and 7th Avenue uh, outside the studio. And I just did my favorite show of the month. I've been subbing in for a month. Uh, for the great Joey Cola, we've been talking about that. And honest to God, what was like when I'm funny, when I'm at my best, it's about me discovering new people and sharing good souls. And I found four what four fresh people, right? Uh, Do we say freshman or first year at Pace? Okay, so they're at Pace, and me being so goddamn young and adorable, I know that we don't call freshmen freshmen everywhere. Uh, so I have four first-year students at Pace, and they are musical theater, and then one dancer who's just here because he's hot. Uh, that, yeah, the audience watching you watching on video, watch it. Yeah, get in here. Hey, who's this? Oh, hey, I do lighting. The light. Oh my friend, the lighting guy. I've never seen his face. I'm yeah. in three weeks. I don't pull the mask down. Yeah, uh, but I think I know one of your adjunct professors. Uh, David Shockin. Oh, cool. I also know one of your front of house people, Libby. So oh, yeah. if you see either of them, say hi. I gotta run and we get another. Go, go uh, look. You got another well, test. Josh. 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 Yeah, I gotta get another test for another job. Okay, Josh. Oh, just okay. So no, break legs in your career. Thank you. So thank you, so. Josh. Yeah, please do. So that's the funny one. So Josh just sort of said two things. One, there's a professor named uh, Professor Shuckett. What a great name, yep. right? Yes, you know what I love? They're all afraid of getting Fs one day, so they won't make fun of it. Can we all say that together, though? Shuck it. Shuck it. Go shuck it yourself. Shuck it. You can shuck it. Uh, that just sounds dirty. I, I don't think his name's really shuck it. Folks, uh, you're, you're, you're at home. You're on Google. Go go check. Could there really be a shuck it? It could, could be. be. Could be. I don't know. Surprise. Yeah, and he worked with Professor Go Shuck Yourself, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have a lot of different names. But that's it. But it's funny. The first thing that guy Josh just said, this is a complete showbiz thing. Everybody, television right now is still in the year 2020. I got tested for COVID five times. Actually, I got tested for COVID three times in one day last week because I was working at two different TV shows. So the TV shows are safe, and I get it. If one of the rich people gets COVID, uh, they got to shut down the whole damn show. But who the hell? cares i'm with the cast of high school the musical okay look close this is it they did not laugh at this joke before but i feel like i'm with the cast of saved by the bell and i am mr belding oh my god do you even know what saved by the bell is I okay I, oh yep. my god. Wait, do you? wait is that him behind wait do you know who uh, saved by the bell is oh. no no because you're like what you're 19 that was on a hundred years ago so saved by the bell was a, like a high school show with the Zach Morris and Mario Lopez, and then there's a new version on HBO Max, and then they had this guy, I think the, the actor's name was Dennis Haskins. This was from back in the days when you had uh, credits before shows, and you had to learn the no-name actors. Like, like, do you know who's, uh, like, what's your favorite show right now? What's favorite show? You on Netflix. Okay, yeah, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about, okay? <laughs> who's in it, who stars in it, who stars in it? Ken Badgley. Okay, never mind. you're killing my point, okay. <laughs> But the fact that I know who played Mr. Belding on Saved by the Bell feels like a little too much trivia. And his name was Dennis Haskins, and basically he was like 50 with all like high, like people who grew up to be really hot actors. Anyway, he looked creepy, and that's how I feel right now. I feel out of place. I feel out of place. I feel out of place. I feel like old guy crashing a party. But here's what happens. There are four musical theater uh, students, and three of them are very talented. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Well, one's very talented, but you dance. What's your story? You dance? Well, well okay, no. I'm you got the shy. I'm theater program. <laughs> right. And uh, I, I'm, I'm mostly a dancer. Like, I've only really started to take, I like, only been doing voice for a couple months before I came here, and then now I'm in you formal voice here. Dance. So, well, well, so first, here's my problem. First of all, the man looks like Harry Styles, okay? <laughs> if, and, and like, he's a good looking man. Right? Am I wrong? Is that really wrong? Yes, no, yes, I mean, no, Harry no. Styles Harry Styles has blonde hair, no? No. Okay, <laughs> well, he looks like somebody famous, no? Who does he look like? Himself? Himself. God damn it. All right. These people. First of all, let me teach you something about improv and acting. It's yes and people. Yes and. You agree, then you twist. You agree? Yeah, there's your improv comedy workshop right there. Come on. We'll keep walking. We'll walk. We'll keep walking. These people are wondering what the hell I'm doing. So anyway, I asked, do you sing? And that, like, and you didn't. The other three people all sang beautiful songs. I, I didn't want to sing. Yeah, well, well, why not? What the hell? Why, what because I was screaming for Rachel Ray. Oh, you're such a good fan. Strange. Oh, you're such a good fan. But I feel like he's got a lot of talent. Oh, 
my God. And that is Tommy Crudup, who I knew when I was your age. I'm an executive producer at Breaking. Yeah, there you go. There you go. See that? Yeah. My friend. That's my friend. You can clap for him. You know what? Here's the funny thing. <laughs> you can clap. For him. No, but this is a funny thing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, his brother is Billy Crudup. Okay, God damn it, Tommy! You shouldn't have said that. Oh my God, you've never seen his brother is a very successful actor in the show uh, Morning Show. Have you oh, seen that? Oh, yeah. He plays the network executive in Morning Show. His brother is, was in Almost Famous, and uh, to be honest with you, for as famous as Tommy Crudup's brother is, to, uh, Billy Crudup, uh, Tommy Crudup's a real famous guy to me. He was very nice to me when I worked at Rosie O'Donnell's show, literally 22 years ago, and he's just really kind. So, That's uh, yeah. So, uh, ah, so the, 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 there's no way this podcast is going to be broadcastable with trucks going by. <laughs> uh, so anyway, th when I want to fill time, I discover talented people. And my friend from Orlando, what was your first name again? Every Rama. Rama. Rama sang. What did you sing, Rama? Hey, them no mind from A. My name is Alice. Can you give them a few bars? Give the audience a few bars. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Yes, on the, for the podcast. Uh it's you and me too late rama okay <laughs> don't worry don't worry rama nobody nobody watching and what's the best advice i gave you before so rama was getting nervous before the show yeah. and i looked at rama and i said rama if you do well it's not going to make your career and if you tank it ain't going to break it and that's the way to approach life is uh, and that's what made me the slovenly professional clapper that i am yeah. uh but then uh my friend from Albany, what did you sing? Tell everybody what you said. I sing somewhere over the rainbow. You can no, you can hit a bit, but you screwed. Yeah, go go. Me? Somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow. That's exactly how I did it. <laughs> okay, these kids have not taken improv class, and it's awful. Okay, they're not like nobody is continuing. And then Isaiah sang, uh, "I'm not going." Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and I am telling you, I'm not going. There you go. There you go. <laughs> And that's all you're going to say to me, say to me, say to me. Ah. Like, that's another song that I think I know when I'm in the car. Come on, we'll keep walking, cast of High School, the musical. I don't know if I feel like doing a whole 20-minute show with you. Um, so, like, what's it like being fresh people? Like, uh, like, you're, like you're in a dorm. Yeah. How, like, you have the, any of you guys ever been to New York City? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, like, but the magic of living here, I like, I'm jealous of you guys. You get to live in New York City. Uh, I have a, a niece, if not two nieces, who are... Uh, uh, fresh people, one at UConn, one at Roger Williams. And I'm jealous at this stage of your life. Oh, like, yeah. do you know the man? Like, what's the most magical thing about going away to college? Like, has there been like a moment where you're like, holy crap, I'm kind of a grown up? Yes. Anybody? Yes. What was yours, Isaiah? Get in. Isaiah, get in. Like, get in close and hold that for a minute because my hand is shaky. Go. What so, was your moment? Miami is like completely different from New York City. Like, How so? Completely really? Different. Yes, completely. As far as like the people also, um, it's super diverse here, but it's also diverse there. But I would say probably like the buildings also. I live like super like in the suburbs area, so I'm not used to like buildings everywhere. Yeah. So it was like a big like culture shock. Um, but as like time went on, I kind of got used to it. And okay. Bit, so you're getting used better. to it. How yeah. many weeks are you in New York for now? Um, three. Three, two, three, two, four. Two ish. Three, four. Okay, and what was your, what was your, anybody else have like a holy crap, I'm a grown up moment? <laughs> like, or yeah. a holy crap, I'm in New when York? When I had moment? to go by. Weren't you the guy that was singing? That, yeah. Yes, I was. Yes, I was the guy who was singing. Not you. Not you, I know. <laughs> Great security team, too. Here we go. So, anyway, keep going, keep going, keep going. Here it was go. when I brought groceries for the first time. Okay, okay. so I hate buying groceries in New York. Okay. I hate buying, what, uh -huh. what do you hate about it? There's nothing here. Yeah? There's nothing. Like, I go, I don't get my sa the same things I get from Walmart back in Orlando. There's no Walmart here. Oh, gosh, yeah. So, wait, that's your big thing is there's no Walmart? <laughs> I'm fine with not having a Walmart. I just want a Walmart adjacent. Okay. I don't have that yet. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, there's a Target. There's a new Target at 44th and 10th. Uh, there was another. Target's expensive. Uh, yeah. Though we're in New York City, I feel like there's Targets on all of us. Yeah. Um <laughs> There you go. There's my joke. So that's cool. That's my good New York question. What else do I want to ask you guys? What have you done for fun in New York City so far? What's your big fun things to do in New York? Uh, oh, get, get in there, McDreamy. What do you got to think about your thoughts? The Met. I love the Met. I love going because we're in Fide Eye, so it's really cramped down there. And going to the Upper East Side is lovely. And then uh, we get comp tickets sometimes for shows. So it's nice to just go out and see yeah. Peter. What show did you see? What have you seen? I've seen Funny Girl, Strange Loop. Oh, good. Um, 
I've seen seven. We did a hypnosis improv show yeah. where some of us got to be on stage. And be okay, hypnotized. so that's like every freshman year, and I'm gonna, I, I don't wanna litter, but I'm gonna litter. Um, <laughs> but every fresh, that's like the ultimate college freshman show. Really? Like I remember we had a guy, Joe DeRosa, sure. And I eventually met his son, who's now a professional hypnotist. And I feel like he hypnotized me, even though I didn't feel like I was hypnotized. Because then you go, Joe DeRosa. Who was your hypnotist? Do you remember him? Oh, no. But the oh. the improv artist who worked with us was Flo from Progressive. <laughs> what? Wait, Flo from Progressive yeah. is expensive. Yeah. Like, uh, so wait, it was an to... off Broadway show. So you got tickets to go see Flo. They gave Flo. us comp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that I, I just feel like that's such a weird story to tell, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I went all the way to uh, New York City. I got to see a Broadway show with <laughs> Flo from Progressive. Flo that's right. Progressive. And what was that's Flo right. like? And Flo did an improv show? She was show? fierce. Well, so the five of us that were hypnotized on stage, she like did little scenes with us from with prompts from the audience. And. Uh, yeah, it was great. She was super nice, and she was fun to work with. So were you on stage? I was. Yeah. All right, who wants to hold my coffee for the rest of the show? It's empty, it's empty. Who, I, I can't. Uh, it's a long story. I'm arthritic, people. I'm arthritic. Thank you, Harry Styles. Understandable. Understandable. So I can't believe There's got to be somebody. Who else has blonde, curly hair? There's got to be somebody famous that you I, I don't know. You they say like, somebody. I get Neil Patrick Harris sometimes. Aww. I could see that. Younger. I could see that. Okay, there you go. So was uh, so you were on stage. Yeah. Now, were you really hypnotized or pretending? Y yeah, I'd say really hypnotized, but it's really just like, it's not like mind control. It's just like meditation. And you're just super <laughs> relaxed to a point where you don't care about like the judgment of other people. You know, there's a life lesson in that. I feel like that's the note to get out on. I feel like I, I went in from a podcast trying to learn from four young, dreamy actors, and instead I'm getting a life lesson from Flo from Progressive. Flo from Progressive. Flo from Progressive. Oh, oh she's now, uh, last thing, and I'm going to share this sort of thing. You guys helped me with the move. There's a friend of mine who is a, uh, uh, or not, when I say friend, We've messaged three times on uh, Instagram, but there's a professional basketball player that I had you guys sing a song to to get me to go to Orlando oh, with her. Oh my god! Uh, well, because she posted that she she posted something where she was, uh, and she shared a post about taking strangers to Disney World. Wow. So I want to be the stranger this rich person takes to Disney World, uh, and I would tell everybody what I had you do because now you're all creeped out and freaked out by it. Um, so he had us harmonize us song yeah. basically for the girl can Thanks. you do can you do that now can you do that now four of you three two uh, together wait, wait, wait. Uh, together uh, what was this uh, uh, what's her name uh, oh sophie god uh, i can't wait it took me a minute okay there. Uh, <laughs> sophie take a tom to disney world Okay, I, I think not, the I think the in we're not the, quite there. yeah we're not there. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're we're not a, I I am not going to Disney World is what I'm saying. <laughs> now, now that used to be my that used to be my move though. It worked once and then it never worked again. Where I would do a video with the crowd for a girl I was into, what? and I'd be like, oh my god, everybody, let's like I, like I did America's Got Talent a hundred years ago, oh, and oh, I man. I was in love with a girl named Ashley. And actually, that one didn't work, but it got her to start talking to me. Okay. Uh, then I did it for a girl named Nikki, who we went out with yeah. a couple of times. I feel like it's the ultimate icebreaker. Yes. Yeah. Like, like, do you ever get like, you're, well, you're 18, you're young, you're young, and you're young. Do you ever get like a guy or someone you're, who was into you uh, give you a weird icebreaker? Like, didn't involve anything creepy. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, they, well, they're 18. What the hell am I asking them for dating advice? Jeez, they're young. They're full of hopes and dreams. They haven't been broken yet. Uh, yeah. I, I, look, and, and now today's show is sponsored by the Ghost of Christmas Future, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know what I love? There's people in traffic now who I feel like they want to be on the show now, too. They're like, they're, they're in a white creepy van. Uh, I like them. Nope, nope. Hi. No, can I get them to wave? They're waving. They're waving. Yes. There you go. All right. There we go. So I feel like this is about it. I feel like I've covered what I need to cover with you guys. Do you have any questions for me? Any questions for me as a big shot in show business yes. who you're impressed? Yes, Isaiah. Go for it. You want me to hold it? You, you can yeah. hold it. Yeah, here we go. Hi. So basically, I just wanted to ask, um, how did you get your start? You know, that's the dumbest and best question. Not dumbest, but not dumbest, but the one I get the most, one I've told before. Uh, and you can hold it because I'm stretching my hands. Again, today's show brought to you by arthritis and hand exercises. Uh, I got, I mean, there's an, it's all, 
your start is such a bullshit word because um, there's a million starts until things start happening. Um, it depends on when you want to start the calendar. I mean, when I was your age, I did everything there was to do in college. I did everything. I was in the, I founded the TV station at my college, Quinnipiac. Mm -hmm. um, I did a crappy late night talk show on cable access television where if everybody who could have watched it at the same time, the maximum audience was 5,000 people. Like this is before the internet. Like right now I'm doing a damn TV show on a phone, on a stick. You can't understand. <laughs> like I feel like uh, uh, there are times where I really do feel like a caveman who came to the 21st century. Yeah. Like you're, this is a phone on a stick that broadcasts. It's yeah. creepy. Like you guys Amazing. can't understand the magic of this. Uh, my grandparents used to poop outside. That said, uh, I, uh, so I did all this stuff. <laughs> no, like they did, they were from, they were from a small country, bad uh, running water. Anyway, they were from Sicily. Uh, no running water a hundred years ago. Anyway, that's not, the, the, we're distracting from a great story. So uh, the, 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 my professional start uh, performing and doing warm up was in 2006. Rosie O'Donnell had me, asked me, knew I was still doing stand up and asked me to do warm up at The View. But before that, what happened was uh, I interned at Conan O'Brien. Uh, I got that Conan internship because my cousin Jennifer uh, had a drinking buddy who interned at Conan O'Brien, and that drinking buddy got me the internship. But then again, you talk about dominoes connecting, and you kind of saw that a little bit here on the street with me is um, I worked at Rosie, I went from Conan O'Brien to the NBC page program to Rosie O'Donnell. And at, Ro and at Rosie O'Donnell, I worked there three years with that guy who just passed us on the street, Tommy Crudup. And they all kind of said, uh, you know, hey, whoop de doo blah, blah, blah. You know, there were no jobs at the time. And then I did had no job when Rosie ended. And actually, what year were you born again? 2003. So this is before you were born. I couldn't find uh, a job. And the big ending is all these little things came together. And then suddenly from the, someone from the past rescued me from the ashes. Like I, and that's where I'm at right now is I'm kind of looking for my proverbial fairy godparents. So, the, so the, the short answer is you're always starting. There is no happy ending and you keep planting seeds and you never know which seed's going to grow. You network up the ladder. Like you know, like, like Rachel Ray love you, whoop de friggin' do. Uh, no, but for real, you don't know like you're waiting, Rachel, or are you gonna sign a record label? No. Yeah. But what you did get out of today is a bonding story with four friends. Yeah. And you don't know which of these four friends might be the one to refer to the job, you know? And the hard part is you plant seeds and you never know which one is gonna be the kind person to pay off. So that's my advice. And then and then for all you know, like again, uh, you know, say yes to as much as you can. And you never know, just performing with a guy on a stick and an iPhone, this is, you know, they say the first thousand times that anything don't count, and now you're at 998 to go. All right? And that's my advice for today, people. All right, give me the coffee cup. Go on with your lives. <laughs> you. This will be on TomKillyShow.com next week. I'm going to keep walking. All right, guys, how great was the High School the Musical cast, and how great is this walkaway shot where we each go in separate directions? Um... That's about it, people. So listen, I have a feeling millions of kids who are freshmen at Pace University are gonna watch this show. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and subscribe to me across the board as Tom Kelly Show. Uh, I have a lot of great stuff there. And then uh, I have a stand-up comedy show at the end of the month at the West Side Comedy Club. And then tickets to me doing warm-up here and at Drew Barrymore subbing in for the great Joey Cola uh, on my website, TomKellyShow.com. Uh, there you go, people. A uh, nice little field show. Uh, let me, I want to get to the corner. I want to get to the corner to be able to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, good night, New York.